Hello, today we are going to be looking at the transformation of matrices. Now I'm assuming you already know matrices, but here's just a brief overview. Now a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, symbols or expressions, like so. We're going to be doing these transformations on a Cartesian plane. Now a Cartesian plane or Cartesian coordinate system specifies each point uniquely in a plane by a pair of numerical coordinates. Now we are going to be redoing the reflection in the x-axis and that formula is the matrix formula is 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Now first we're going to do an algebraic example with the A, B, C and D. We're going, that is going to be times by 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, which is a transformation matrix. Now that is the 1 times A plus the 0 times C. Next would obviously be the 1 times B and the 0 times D. Next the 0 times A plus the minus 1 times C. Then again the 0 times B and the minus 1 times D. As you can see we solve this out as if any other matrix multiplication. Now this equals A, B, minus C and minus D. Now the only changes in this is that the bottom row is now negative. Now let's try a numerical example. Now, if we multiply this transformation matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1 by the point matrix, let's say 2, 3, 1, 2, which originally on the Cartesian plane would look something a lot like this. Now the 2, 1 would be represented by that dot and the 3, 2 by this one. Now, when we multiply it, like so, we shall get the reflection on the x-axis. So we 1 times 2 ti plus 0 times 1, 1 times 3 plus 0 times 2, and 0 times 2 plus minus 1 times 1, 0 times 3 plus minus 1 times 2. Now that equals 2, 3, minus 1, and minus 2. As you can see, that was what it was originally, and now what it is after it's been multiplied with the transformation matrix. Now, on the Cartesian plane, Excuse me. It is like so. It has been reflected on the x axis. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.